Good morning. It is uh, early. No, it's not actually that early. It's like almost nine o'clock <laughs> on uh, Monday, August the 1st. And I have just arrived at my favorite running trail to go for my run. I normally get here around 6.30, but um, my kiddo's been sick the past couple of days, and she was up at four in the morning, and she's got a fever this morning, and so it's just couldn't do it at, at six this morning, so we're, we're going for a run now. Um, I am almost, almost, almost halfway through uh, my couch to 5K training. And uh, from here on out, things ramp up pretty steadily, and I'm kind of intimidated. But I made it this far, which I never ever thought I'd be able to do, so we'll... I'm just gonna plug along. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. And maybe I'll film again so you can see me post-run. <laughs> and uh, then we'll go home and get presentable and maybe stitch. Maybe? Probably. Okay. Okay. So that's... Uh... That was rough. Um, I didn't get as far as I got on Friday, but... Um... I still got Wednesday and Friday to, uh... To get better, and the point is, I didn't stop. So even if I was going a little slower, I still, you know, kept going. And I'm obviously getting exercise. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the drippy sweat. Um, anyway, I'm going to go home and probably try to shove like 10 to 12 grams of protein in my face and take a shower. Not necessarily in that order. Definitely going to hydrate and stretch again, but, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah, I took a shower, and then I played some Stardew Valley, <laughs> which is a video game that, um, well, you can get it on Steam, and it just came out for Mac, so I no longer have to jury-rig a system so I can play it. Um, it's a nice little sandbox diversion. Diversion. There we go. Um, so today I'm going to, this week I want to finish my All You Need Is Love. I am so close. Um, I just have a bee in my bonnet about it. So, and I want to get it done. So that's what I'm going to work on today. I'm here in the living room, curled up on the couch. There's a cat over here. And um, I think I'm going to watch some floss tube and stitch. That is what I'm going to do. And uh, see about lunch in a bit. So. Hey, it's uh, Tuesday, August 2nd. Um, and yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, I think this morning... What I'm going to do, I was just looking at, kiddos starts kindergarten next month, and so I was at the school district website just looking at calendars and looking at, like, what I need to get for back to school for her and um, stuff like that. And it's frustrating. So, as any of you in the United States with children in public school know... It's frustrating. Um, so I think I'm going to maybe watch some floss tube now and do some stitching. Um, I made a mistake on all you need is love and I have to frog. It's just back stitching I have to frog, but it's still a pain in the ass and I don't want to do it. So I can't decide if I'm going to deal with that or if I might want to drag out my Mirabilia autumn in my garden and stitch on that. I'll figure it out. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what's going on in my world right now. 
So as you can see, I opted to just uh, soldier on with this and I finished it. So hooray, this is like finish eight or nine of the year, which is pretty good, I think. Um, the French lot knots look terrible, but that's life in my world. Um, so yeah, now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I might take a little break because I've got a bit of a headache, but uh, yeah, all you need is love is finished. I'm not saying the hills in my neighborhood are terrible to run on. I'm not saying that they're totally terrible to run on. Don't do it. Oh my God. <laughs> Normally I go to the trail to run on because um, about a 15 minute drive from my house is a rails to trails thing. Rails to trails are great. If you can find a rails to trails to run on, if you're just starting running, they're nice. They're flat. In warm weather, they're, weather, they're really well maintained. Do it. It's great. But sometimes I like to, to mix up the terrain a little bit. Oh, it was brutal. And I didn't sleep well last night again, so. Coffee. Coffee good. I've been up for th over three hours already. It's 9.28. I don't know when I turned into a person who gets up at six o'clock to go running. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on with my life. But hey, here we are. Uh, so yeah, Wednesday, August 3rd, I have a dentist appointment in an hour and I don't want to go. But I have to. So I will. Um, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do today, stitching-wise. Um pulled out Mirabilia. haven't done anything to it yet. Uh, kind of thinking I should probably start planning that spinning video. So maybe I'll do that today. Some planning, some prep. But um, I'll just sit here and make faces at you. Anyway, so yeah. That's kind of, my morning is going to be taken up by angst and dentist drills. Um, later today, who knows? It'll be a surprise. Hey, <clears throat> it is um, Friday, uh, August 5th. And um, today I, uh, I ran for 20 minutes without stopping. No walking intervals for the first time in my entire life. I'm feeling pretty righteous right now. <laughs> no idea what I'm going to do with the rest of the day. Um, I might do like a facial care stuff vlog because it might be fun. Anyway, yeah, that's what I did this morning personal best. I feel awesome. I'm still on an endorphin high, so you get to watch me ramble about my current skincare routine. You're welcome. <coughs> um, so, first of all, let me say, I'm not really big into beauty stuff. Um, as you can probably tell. Like, I didn't wear makeup when I got married, all right? It's just not judging you if you were really into makeup. You do you. It's just not my bag, baby. Um, <clears throat> but my skin is temperamental. My skin is, tends to be on the oily side. And um, it's taken me a while to find a routine that works. And by routine, I mean just products that um, I can use and I won't have breakouts even when it's the middle of summer and you essentially live, if you're me, you essentially live in a concrete jungle and, <clears throat> you know, sweat and oil and all that terrible stuff. 
So this is what works for me and so I thought I'd share them in case maybe they'd work for you. Um, what do I look for in skincare products? No animal products, no animal testing, and I don't want to spend a lot of money. And they have to work. <laughs> Those are the four, four things that are important to me when shopping for skincare stuff. Um, things I've been using lately. I recently got a, well, my birthday was June 30th and my mom got me a gift certificate to my favorite, favorite shop for like beauty stuff, which is Lush. If you're not familiar with Lush, I highly recommend you get familiar. If you live in the UK, they're all over the place. In the US, you kind of have to live near a city. Um, they do ship, but shipping can be kind of weird depending on where their distribution center is. Like in North America, um, if you order from Lush, it's going to ship from British Columbia. So good luck getting it in a timely manner. Um, but it is worth it and their products are fantastic. With Lush, not all of their products are vegan, but they are all um, cruelty free. Excuse me, in that they are not tested on animals. They're never tested on animals. And the only animal products you're going to find are going to be things like honey or milk. Um, so it's not like they're grinding up animal bones or anything, um, if that sort of thing bothers you. But their vegan products are all clearly labeled, which I really like about them. And uh, everyone who works there, everyone I've ever talked to, like if you have questions, you're not sure what's vegan, what's not, they're all really knowledgeable and they'll talk to you and they're not going to give you shit about not wanting animal products in your, you know, in your skincare stuff. So something that I have found really works well for cleansing my skin is cleanser that has charcoal in it, particularly in the summer. Um, someone who's more knowledgeable about the chemistry of it could probably tell you why better than I can, but I just find that something that's charcoal based or has charcoal in it really, really helps me out in the summertime. And um, that's not hard to find. Like if you're really, really on a budget and just like wanna go to your local drugstore and see what they have, I think Biore has um, a charcoal, a charcoal face, facial cleanser. My favorite is from Lush. It's a soap. Um, it's called Coal Face. It smells kind of like charcoal. It doesn't smell bad. I just got a little hunk of it. Um, but yeah, it'll look, it'll look like that. And if you go into a Lush store, they'll either have some pre-cut chunks of their soap that have been wrapped or they can cut a new one for you. Um, I mentioned the gift card because Coal Face is pretty expensive. I like it, but I don't buy it that often. It's like $10 a pound. Um, it might be more than that. It might actually be closer to $20 a pound. Um, it's gentle enough for every day, but it's not gentle enough on my personal wallet for every day. So this is kind of a treat. Um, but if it's within your means, I highly recommend it. It's good stuff. What I use when, that I discovered just recently, um, when I don't have cold face, I recently discovered Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 soap. Um, 
I use the hemp tea tree uh, formula because again, oily skin, tea tree oil is my friend. Um, but they have, they have a lavender one, they have a chamomile one, they have different. And what I like about Dr. Bronner's, it's cheap. It is so cheap. This is a 16 fluid ounce, which is 437 milliliters bottle. This was like $5 American. And this is like the medium sized. They, they sell a much, much bigger bottle of this and for like $12, $15 maybe. I mean, it's a really good price. Uh, for the amount of soap that you're getting and it's also very versatile um like you can it's gentle enough you can wash it on your face use it to wash your face daily which i do um uh, you can wash your body with it you can wash your hair with it um you could wash dishes with it you can do laundry with it you could mop your floor with it you can clean up pet stains with it and honestly ladies or people who have vaginas, menstrual blood, you know what I'm talking about? Put them in the sink, squirt some of this on it, fill sink with warm water, walk away for half an hour, come back, like magic. Um, what else does it say? You can use it as an all-purpose cleaner. You can use it to wash produce. Um, you can use it to shave if you shave. Uh, it's it's really versatile it's really cheap and it works another thing I got from Lush recently is I am a sucker for face masks I always have been there's just something about putting mud on my face and putting my feet up that is just like nirvana um, so from Lush, and these, again, these are like under $5, I think. They're, they're uh, fresh face masks. You need to keep them in the fridge. Um, I have Don't Look At Me here. And uh, cleansing lemon juice with scrubby ground rice will leave your skin with nothing to be shy about. Um, it's very lemony and it is shockingly blue. Shockingly blue. Um, I have washed my face already. I used Dr. Bronner's this morning because honestly, cold face was wrapped up in my closet. Um, but yeah. It's just, I don't know what it is, because I've never considered myself very girly or very high maintenance or anything, but there is just something about smearing mud on my face that just, it's the height of relaxation. I feel like I should be in that X-Files episode, you know, the one with that dude who could talk people into killing themselves. Like cerulean blue, cerulean blue. It's like a gentle breeze. Now drive your car into that semi. It'll be awesome. <sighs> uh, this is nice for exfoliation. I think that's what the ground up rice is for. Um, I posted a picture of myself on Instagram the first time I, um, I tried this and I was like, I feel like Lush wants me to feel my inner Smurf here. And, um, Pam Reed was like, great, now I'm trying to figure out what Smurf you would be. It's like, I don't know, Pam. <laughs> what did you come up with? Boo! Anyway. <laughs> Fresh face mask. Yeah, they're cheap. They work. They have a whole variety of them. Uh, this is vegan. Not all of them are. Uh, I think a couple of them have honey in them. Um, other ones I've used, I've used. Uh, 
there's one that's got blueberries in it that I've used a lot. There's the chocolate one called Cupcake that I've used. It kind of looks like you're rubbing poo all over your face, though, so that's kind of weird. Um, Non-vegan ones they have. They have one that's made of lettuce. It's very green. It looks cool. They've got one that's oatmeal-based. Um, if you go to their website or you go to a store, you'll see all the kinds of cool stuff they have. So, yeah. Don't look at me. So I would only recommend using a heavy duty mask like that, um, especially the one I used because it's got ground up rice in it. I would only recommend using that once a week because um, otherwise you're going to really irritate your skin. <laughs> Not a good thing. Uh, last thing I do, really simple, toner, um, especially in the summer. Um, so I read about these on um, a blog called uh, a Laura Miller's blog. She does a show on YouTube called Raw Vegan Not Gross. She's a really cool lady. Um, and on her blog, she's been doing, with a makeup artist, some reviews of um, good skincare, uh, makeup, whatever, products. And um, I decided to try these because they recommended them. Laura herself actually really recommended this stuff. Um, I was looking for a new toner that wasn't just a regular old bottle of witch hazel which you can do, obviously. Um, also, these were both really cheap. These were like $10 a piece on Amazon. And I bought them in May. And they're still mostly full. So I feel like it was a really good investment. Um, I got Thayer's, Natu Thayer's Natural Remedies Alcohol-Free Toner, which is Cucumber Witch Hazel. And I got this from Reviva Labs uh, Rosewater Facial Spray with aloe herbs, minerals, etc. I got them both because they were cheap and I wanted to try them both to see which one I like better. Jury's still out. I like the smell of this one better. I like the way that this one doesn't, this one kind of like I put it on my face and then I can just forget about it. This kind of, for a little while after I spray it on my face, it kind of feels like there's something on my skin. Um, but I like them both. Generally, I'll do this daytime and this before bed. Um, uh, I can put links below for these if I remember to. Yeah, good stuff. So that's kind of this for it for today's vlog. Yeah, make it rain, make it rain, make it rain. Um, so I'm probably gonna play some video games, buy some Def Leppard t-shirts, all that jazz, not really, video games, Stitch, I'm not sure what yet, and, um, it's Friday, so who knows. Tomorrow my sister's coming over and we're gonna watch women's soccer. I'm going to watch a uh, U.S. women's team play France's women's team. It's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, so I will show you later what I work on, if I work on anything, which I probably will. And, uh, yeah. Skincare. Jewish style. Okay, here is what I've decided to work on. Um, I've been kind of clearing up mini finishes, I mean, little little projects that need to be finished. Um, and this is the round round, the uh, subversive cross stitch round robin that I participated in and um, got back in the mail. So I'm doing my part, uh, which is just the border. And I love the way this turned out. I have no idea how I'm gonna finish it. Um, but, um, I'm 
doing these little things around the border and then there's going to be a line in this color that's the center of the tree trunk. But yeah, much love and thanks to Trisha who did the field and Lisa who did the tree and then Ashley did the behold the field and then um, Jess did lay thine eyes upon it. So, so happy. Highly recommend Round Robins. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be working on today, I think, just to finish it up. And I'm going to watch uh, the, net, the latest installment of Jessie Marie Does Stuff. So that's my Friday afternoon. Hey guys, it is uh, Tuesday, August 9th today. Um, I just got done doing some stuff around the house and just random adult stuff. And I was gonna sit down and do some stitching. I decided to pull out Miss Fortune and start that. Well, I started it a few weeks ago, actually, but I just got like the, the little borders done and so now I'm starting to fill things in. And I'm thinking I'm going to watch some Sons of Anarchy which I started watching the other night because I'd never seen it before. And I'm hooked and I blame Emily. Eclectic Possessions. It's your fault, Emily. Yeah. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if she does, Emily, it's your fault that I am hooked on uh, Sons of Anarchy. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I will show you what I've gotten done when I'm done stitching for the morning and yeah. Hey, so it's a uh, Wednesday, August the 10th. Um, I am beat, uh, really tough run this morning and I don't know why I'm just exhausted and it was a struggle every step, but I did it. That is what counts. Never mind the fact that I'm already freaking out about Friday's run. Um, but I'll think about that later. <laughs> um, I might take a nap. Honestly, I might go back to bed. It's like 20 after 9 in the morning, but I am just like... Uh, I've been up since 6. Um, I forgot to show you what I stitched on yesterday, so I'm going to do that. I am not loving the fabric that I'm stitching that on, that 32 count lamb's wool linen. It is so stiff that it's like I can't get it taut enough in the hoop. It's it's really bugging me. But it's a small project so I'm not going to be stitching on it forever. So okay I will show you that and then I will either go take a nap or um bum around online or something kind of low-key and I'll probably do some stitching a little bit later um, also I want to try to get my spinning area in the living room kind of set up um, we have hardwood floors so I kind of need to find a little rug to put my spinning wheel on otherwise whenever I treadle it it's gonna it's gonna move um, and I don't want that not a good thing. So I'm gonna start in earnest prepping for that video. But yeah, Wednesday. Okay, so here's Miss Fortune so far. Um, when I started it a couple of weeks ago, what I did is I started here in the middle so that I could count over because I wanted to get these borders done. And then on Monday, what I did is I did this cute little bat and this moon. And then yesterday, while watching Sons of Anarchy, I did this moon, started the vine and the flowers. Um, so I might decide to keep being symmetrical today and maybe do the vine and flowers over here. Or I might just continue down. I don't know. We shall see. Such stiff fabric. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. 
but I don't have to buy it again. So anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's what's going on there. Running sucks and I hate it. Okay, today running sucks and I hate it. Oh, not a good one. Actually, it was a actually it was a it was a pretty good one. Uh, I was able to like sprint at the end, so that was cool. But uh, oh, it's hard. Uh, so it's Friday, August twelfth, and yeah, I just got back from a run. I think I'm going to make a protein smoothie and curl up and just moan for a bit. Um, although I will show you what I've been doing the last few days on um, Misfortune. I was watching Sons of Anarchy. So I started it this week and I made it through the entire first season because I'm a mad woman. And then, um, okay, spoiler alert for anyone who has not watched Sons of Anarchy, but you need to know this. There is a gang rape um, at the end of uh, the first episode of season two. So if that is going to trigger you, or you just don't want to see that, um, it's at the end of the first episode of season two. And now that you know that, you know, you can just kind of like skip over the last 10 minutes or so and go right to season two, episode two, and uh, you will not be traumatized or triggered or just any other bad feelings that seeing that could cause in you. Um, I kind of wish someone had given me a heads up because that was rough. Anyway, I'm going to be stitching probably on Misfortune for at least another day and then I'm not sure what I'm going to switch to. I might switch to the blue bouquet hard hanger thing. Maybe. Or I might try to pick up the Mirabilia. I was going to do that this week, but I was just looking at it and was just like, I don't want to. So I didn't. But we'll see. Anyway, yeah, I ran today and so I'm going to relax the rest of the day. Okay, so here was last night's stopping point. Um, So I think the last time you saw it, I was starting to work on flowers over here. So I did, so now these two sides are symmetrical. And then I started the stars and uh, did the hat. And now I'm filling in the white on this little crystal ball here. So... So I like the pattern. I like the piece. It's fun to stitch. I like the minimalism um, with just the three colors. I hate this fabric. I mean, it is so, it's just so stiff. It's coarse. Um, it's, it's just, it's a bear to stitch on and I can't something about it when I put it in the hoop like I can't stretch it taut enough and that's really bugging me too um, so I don't think I'll get this uh, this particular fabric again although I'm not sure what the brand is it's just a 32 count lambs wool um, but anyway that is what misfortune looks like right now. Running sucks a little less and uh, I don't hate it quite as much. 
Okay, it is uh, Monday, August the 15th, and me, I'm, wait, or is it the 16th? It's one of those. It is Monday, I know that. I'm going to take a shower now <laughs> and uh, shove some protein in my face and then um, maybe stitch. Maybe. Hey, it's uh, Tuesday, August the 16th. And remember yesterday when I said I was gonna do stuff? Uh, my cat's a jerk. Um, yeah, instead I ended up not doing anything. <laughs> um, I need to start rejiggling my own personal nutrition because running has been just taking away all of my energy for the rest of the day on run days, so I probably need some more carbs in my life. Um, so yeah, might have to talk to an actual nutritionist if I can't jiggle things myself, but um, Anyway, today I am going to stitch on my heart anger piece and for a little bit and then it is swim day at kiddos day camp, which every day there is swim day, but parents get to come swim today. Um, I bought a bathing suit for the first time in years because... <laughs> uh, yeah, modeling good body confidence for your little girl, it's what you gotta do. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, but I like swimming anyway, so that should be okay. Um, and then my in-laws are coming for dinner. Should be okay. Should be okay. But yeah, that's my plan for the day. I'm going to turn you around here in a minute and show you where I am on the Heart Anger Project and what my plans are. It's almost done. Um, but yeah, why don't we do that now? Okay, here's where we are on Blue Bouquet. Um, the other night I finished finally all of the satin stitches here and then started to fill in the squares with the lazy daisies. Um, so I have one more of those to do and then some running stitch in a diamond pattern here and then I can start the cutting. Um, this has taken me a lot longer than I thought it would and pretty much the reason is my inability to count. Um, I had to frog quite a few satin stitch, um, these like tulip motifs, um, just for miscounting and not realizing it until too late. Um, which would make me get frustrated and so it would go into the timeout bin and blah blah blah. You know the drill. Anyway, so this, but we're in the, we're, we're on the home stretch with this. So, this is, uh, this is this week's project. And that's where we are today. Pardon the sun. I parked in a different place today. Um, so it's, uh, what the hell day is it? Wednesday, August 17th. I just finished my run. It was not a good run. I am not very happy. Um, well, what can you do? I didn't stop moving. I did not stop moving forward. So there's that, I guess. That sounds kind of weak sauce, but it's what I got right now. So I'm gonna drink some water and go home and get a shower and get the kiddo up and running. I'm blue again. Oh, it's been a day. It has been a day. Um, another exhausted day. 
like I might actually need to talk to a nutritionist or someone who's in sports medicine or something because this is just ridiculous. Um, on top of random running-based exhaustion, both my partner and my child were sick today. So kiddo didn't go to day camp, spouse didn't go to work, uh, so it was time for some self-care. I tried to take a bath, but we gave kiddo a bath, and for some reason that used up all the hot water. We recently replaced our hot water heater, so we might need to futz with that a little bit. Anyway, that's, uh, that's how my day went. I'm gonna show you my very minimal progress on Blue Bouquet here in a minute and then um, do some more work on that. Really wanna finish it this week. Maybe I'll start the cutting tonight. Kinda really want to. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so here's where we are. Um, I didn't get that much done, as you can see, and I am off somewhere here with these little stitches. So I think I'm going to rip that bit out and then start the cutting because cutting is fun. It's scary, but it's fun and it's the scary I know because I've done it a lot of times now. So I might do that and work on the middle later. But yeah, that's where we are. Hello. It is... What day is it? I knew what day it was when I sat down here to film this. It's the 18th. It's Thursday, August 18th. Um, I did not do any stitching or cutting last night because I was sitting down and I was thinking about doing some hard anger cutting and my partner walked in and said hey you want to watch some track and field with the Olympics and I said yeah I want to watch some track and field because I could watch track and field all day that and weightlifting um I mean yeah everyone loves gymnastics and swimming and I love gymnastics and swimming too but my like I really Watching people run fast and throw things far and jump far and uh, watching people lift heavy shit. So. So that's what we did. We watched the women's long jump final and um, 200 meter semifinals and yeah. Long and uh, javelin throws and stuff like that. It was good. And that's probably, it worked out for the best that that's how we spent our evening because I was really tired. And I think if I had tried to do the cutting on the hard anger, I would be sitting here crying right now. So, <laughs> um, but now that I'm rested and I have caffeine, I'm going to sit and do the cutting. So that's what I'm going to do now and probably watch some floss too. And maybe start editing these vlogs together, see how long it's going to be, and when I want to, like, stop. So yeah, that is my, that's my Thursday morning plan. Surprise! The cutting is done! That was, it's always kind of harrowing. Um... And this was especially so because um, I've never done hard anger on a 25 count before. I've only done it on 22 count. Um, so things were a little bit smaller. Uh, but this worked out really well. So now I need to sit back and give a, and, and make some thinks, do some thinking. Um, about um, where I'm going to start the woven bars and what 
direction I should go in and just how to make that work. Um, so yeah, but that is how Blue Bouquet looks right now. Guys, I just finished doing um, some editing, editing the vlogs I've been putting together the past few weeks. Um, and I'm up to like 42 minutes already, so I think I'm going to stop here um, just, you know, for brevity's sake. And yeah, this was kind of fun. Um, I hope it was fun for you. Um, if you'd like me to keep doing these, let me know in the comments below. And um, I'll be back shortly with some finished objects and a pass the stash giveaway. And the spinning video is coming. So yeah, thanks for hanging out. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you around the internet. Peace.